Drop Digging TV! Yo, yo, yo! What's up, everybody? Matty B here, Op Shop Digging TV. That's right, you're tuning in to the freshest, most record spinningest, Op Shop Digginest show around. That's right, coming at you, folks. Today, I got a whole bunch of records. I got some good ones. I got some probably not so good ones. I got some downright weird ones for you. So stay right there. Uh, don't even get yourself a drink. You don't have time because it's on. All right. First record I got is for anyone out there that likes musicals. Uh, I used to be into musicals myself, still don't mind a bit of a uh, musical here and there, folks. But uh, we'll just bring this little ditty down a bit so I can talk at you for a second. And this is the um, original Guys and Dolls soundtrack that I picked up recently in my most recent dig. Uh, and I really like Guys and Dolls. It's a sweet musical. It's based in New York in the 1950s. Uh, and I'm not going to go too much into it, um, but yeah, uh, in 1997, I was part of a backstage uh, show, High School Musical, Guys and Dolls, and that's where I fell in love with this. Uh, so I was super stoked to pick up this little number. Uh, I probably won't be playing it much, but uh, it's got a little bit of sentimental value, and this one is the, uh, the original American cast uh, of the Broadway show that, that uh, premiered in, in 19... 50. Uh, so I'm going to slip. It's got such a nice weight to it. That's another thing I like about this record. It's so old and it's in such good condition. And uh, I just really like the front cover as well. I reckon that's really nice and old and authentic. And you got the little uh, long play micro groove flexible record uh, little title down there with the long play symbol, which just shows how old it is. It's really nice. So yeah, guys, the dolls original. The next record I picked up, did I mention that uh, all these records were three bucks, folks? I had to pay three bucks for each record. Uh, I took them all up to the counter and the lady was like, uh, that would be $3 each. And I was like, oh, $3 each. So I um, happily obliged, uh, but I've blown my budget a little bit there, folks. I'm used to spending a dollar. Anyway, moving right along, the next record I picked up, absolutely worth three bucks is this record here. It's the Police album, Ghost in the Machine. Um, I love the Police. Um, Go Sting, you rock. Uh, now this is the fourth album that the Police released and this was released in 1981. And oh, it's almost like they drilled the hole not big enough because that was really tight. But apart from that, the record looks like it's in pretty good nick. Uh, so we'll just let that play. Classic police here, folks. Every little step I take. Now, for ages I wondered what's up with the front cover. Well, I Wikipedia that shit and I checked it out. And it's actually meant to be the three heads of the band members. Can you, can you, and, and I'm still yet to see it, but this is meant to be Sting in the middle here with his spiky hair and this is uh, uh, Stuart Copeland with his fringe and I forget this dude but there you go uh, the police ghost in the machine and another good thing about this uh, record is well there's lots of good things about this record to be honest but this last track on the A side is called Demolition Man sick track but they use this uh, in the movie Demolition Man as a theme so there you go that's a uh, little bit of information about that yeah anyway moving right along I've got a couple more for you I've never heard of this guy but I thought this looked sweet and uh, what we do here on Op Shop Dick and TV is take a few risks for a couple of bucks so this is Tony McKenzie Ha Chica Ha Chica so I'm gonna put this on folks uh, and see what we got. He looks pretty badass. He looks pretty funky. He looks like, I don't know, a bit like Eddie Murphy, I guess, in his heyday. He's got the big stunner shades and the sweet headband. So this is Tony McKenzie, hot chicka. And I'm gonna get that straight on. We've got the instrumental on one side and the vocal on the other. Um, let's see what I got for my $3. Here we go. Take it away, Mr. McKenzie. Show me what you got. 
definitely uh, meant to be on 45, so let's... Sounds like some sort of funky jungle analog video game that you might have played in the 80s. Ooh, got those nice guitars coming in for you folks. Woo! Oh, oh, nice! Got those funky 80s horns. Let's see what this has to say. Absolutely nothing. We got nothing on the back. But that's funky. I'm really into that, folks. I like that. I might just hear his sweet voice. Oh, busy on the percussion. Yeah. Where's his voice, man? Give me some Tony. Not, not much vocal for the vocal mix. Jesus. Oh, here we go, here we go, yeah. Nice. All right, Tony McKenzie, super into that. Glad I bought that for three bucks. Took a bit of a risk. Speaking about taking risks, uh, this is the biggest, oh no, I'll show you this next one. This next one. Uh, now this one is uh, for all you stalker strangler types out there. This one is, check that out, that's music to watch girls by. What the? Music to watch girls by folks uh, featuring the golden trumpet. So George Mann Orchestra featuring the gold, golden trumpet. And uh, I know when I watch girls, I like to have my golden trumpet pretty close and uh, ready. So I don't really know what to expect with this folks, but we'll put it on anyway. And apparently this is good music to watch girls by. So let's go, put this on. I was hoping it would be a bit more creepy, to be honest, have a bit more sleaze. This is sort of just upbeat swing. But who knows? Maybe you like to sit in your sunroom, have the, court, the curtains slightly drawn, uh, pop on this little ditty, and just uh, watch girls go by. Um, you know, it must have been hard back in these days when you didn't have your, your MP3 players, and you couldn't, you know, creep at train stations and bus, bus stops. You had to do your, your creeping in the privacy of your own home. But um, yeah, music to watch girls by. Didn't know what to expect, thought it was pretty creepy. And it's actually pretty upbeat and swingy, so we might just have a little taste of something else. All right. Don't know if it was worth my three dollars, but look, just to have a record called Music to Watch Girls By, I reckon that's pretty good. And next time you're thinking about creeping on some girls in your sunroom, don't forget your golden trumpet. Moving right along, uh, speaking of creeps, uh, I got this guy quite quickly just because I thought he looked pretty cool. Um, I'll play it quickly, his name's Jose Lewis. Parals or something. Um, I imagine it's going to be pretty folky. Uh, but I just loved the album cover, how he's sitting up in the forest in the middle of nowhere by himself with a guitar, but with this like massive suspect bag. Maybe uh, he's just finished watching some girls and uh, he's got his tools of destruction up in his brown leather bag and he's just, just disposing of the body and then just to, uh, you know, reflect on the situation, he's going to play a bit of guitar, folks. So, let's get a bit of Jose on and see what's cracking. So, just what I thought. Uh, it's got that, like, folky, Spanishy sort of uh, sound going on, folks. I wasn't really expecting much more than that. $3, bit of a rip-off, but I did like the front cover, like I said. 
All right. Thank you very much for tuning in today, folks. Hoped you liked the records. Hoped you liked the episode. Um, I hope you like the internet. Uh, that's a pretty sweet little invention. Um, and I hope you like lots of stuff. So that's it from me. I'm Matty B. You're tuning into Op Shop Digging TV. In next. Uh, until next time, stay funky, uh, hit me up with anything at all, um, I'm really lonely, and that's it, I'll see you next time, Matty B, Up Chop Digging TV, peace, peace.